Hi everyone, this is Donnie Lowy from ClothesAtExplosion.com. Today I'd like to give you some tips on how to source wholesale clothing in Africa. If you're a retailer who is located in Africa and you're looking for a wholesale clothing, so one option of course you can always order online from a, a wholesale business even outside of Africa such as my business in New York or you can travel to New York or travel to LA or travel to Dubai to the UK and look for wholesale merchandise from warehouses but if you are in in Africa and either you are not ordering online you just don't feel comfortable or you don't want to order the the size of an order that's usually required for for international orders or you simply cannot travel to you know to any of the wholesale centers so one of the ways to buy merchandise is, of course, to buy merchandise from wholesalers in Africa. Now, to find those wholesalers can be challenging. You could look online, but you're not going to find as many resources as you might find them, let's say, in the United States or in Europe or in Dubai. So what I would recommend to you is to build a relationship with a retailer where you're not going to be a direct competitor to that retailer. Now, a retailer is not going to want to supply wholesale merchandise to his competitor, but he or she might be willing to supply merchandise to uh, another retailer that's going to be in another city or an entirely different neighborhood or in another state or even another country. Now, one of your approaches can be is to approach that retailer and ask that retailer to supply merchandise to you from her merchandise, meaning let's say she's bought 200 dresses and now she's not sure if she's going to sell all 200 dresses in her store. So you could offer to buy those dresses at a wholesale price. She, of course, she's not going to sell you all 200 dresses because she's bought those dresses for her store, but she might give you 20 or 30 dresses that she might not be able to sell just because she might only have enough customers generally to sell 100 and let's say 70 dresses. Another option is to approach a retailer and ask them what merchandise that they have that they have not been able to sell and then offer to buy that merchandise from them at the wholesale price. Remember, just because they haven't been able to sell that merchandise doesn't mean you won't be able to sell it because your store is in a different location, you have a different set of customers, you, your marketing skills might be better, your customer service skills might be better, so you might be able to buy those dresses that the boutique was not able to sell, then take them to your store and then sell them at a higher price. Another thing you can do is you can team up with a retailer that it will travel to New York. Let's say there's a retailer from Nigeria and she's traveling to my warehouse in Brooklyn. She's coming to closeatexplosion.com. You might give her some money to buy dresses on your behalf. You can either give her a commission or you might help her by running her store while she's in New York visiting my warehouse. So you could team up with a retailer who is either visiting my warehouse in person or you can even team up with a retailer that is ordering online. For example, let's say I have one set wholesale price for 100 or more dresses, and then I offer a discount if someone buys 200 or more dresses. If each one of you can buy 100 dresses, when you team up together, you'll be able to buy 200 dresses because you'll submit one order for 200 dresses. You'll get the lower wholesale price than if you bought 100 dresses on your own. So now, each one of you is going to get a lower wholesale price by only having to buy 100 dresses for your business. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. You're welcome to visit my warehouse in New York. You can look at my website, closeatexplosion.com. Have a great day.